Um, so I guess that's the, the whole point of, of getting uh, a B2B adapter from, from uh, PI that you could do all the, 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 the handling in the PI um, and you don't need to, to have a service provider helping you out. Um, so the so you can just set up your, your connection directly with the partner. The difficult thing here is to set up proxies in an easy manner that the partner is able to, to access your content or access the, the PO system directly. So you need to, to open into the firewall and so either if you know the URL of your or the IP addresses of your partner you want to set up um, the, the URLs of those partners in your firewall saying those partner can access the B2 uh, the AS2 uh, URL on your system so you simply just set up a route if you're calling your uh, your external system so let me just try to show this um, so I guess you can see my screen so I think the the S2 adapter right now is a S2 and they can put in whatever you want um, so the, this is my internal access if I wanted to, to expose this ex externally I would probably uh, go for something like uh, I would put a uh, map my domain name graph.com uh, B2B or whatever you would have so you'd have some some external uh, communication hopefully you're using HTTPS but otherwise it's uh, terminated on, on your backend system and then you just in your firewall map this host to the the backend system and then they would get access to that uh, directly and you don't want to expose everything else so you may just uh, give a, a more qualified uh, UL some in integration or production uh, is two and then you would route this part further to the uh, S2 provider in uh, is a PPI if that makes sense um, is this what you wanted or is this uh, more details you want in this and obviously if you're using is to yeah there's a lot of things about exchanging certificates that's a lot of uh, monitoring you need to, to figure out in, in those uh, cases but uh, yeah if you get the, the firewall up and running it, it definitely helps uh, getting this this done Yeah, if uh, the partner does not have uh, AS2 capabilities, uh, how can you, you deal with this? Um, yeah, obviously you could go for, for an AS2 provider, but there's also some of the, the free or cheaper solution that they may opt for. So they would, uh, if you search for AS2 providers or AS2 systems, you may get uh, some different systems that would help in in this case um, so and they can just run these uh, as2 servers so either i guess this one i don't know the pricing of these things and and how difficult it is getting it up and running but that would be an option for for running uh, the server um, yeah i think maybe the standalone AS2 component would be something they could get up and running but obviously they would have to map the firewall and manage certificates and stuff like that so it may be a good idea to go with one of these uh, AS2 uh, servers maybe the open AS2 I haven't tried that one um, I know at, at TechIt we are also using some <sighs> AS2 server that has been uh, been, been tried and and at least when you're developing it's a good idea to get one of these external is two servers that you can just use to upload document and see or test your own as2 capabilities before you're expanding to to deal with with, with clients